It's Ricardo Cobos with Keller Williams Realty. Welcome to This Month in Wake County Real Estate for January 2016. Here are just a few of the local real estate numbers I'm tracking for you right now. According to the Raleigh Regional Association of Realtors, the number of December home sales was up 9.6% over the same period last year and up 8.4% over 2014. Worth noting is the number of distressed sales has fallen by more than 30% year over year and by nearly half since 2013. And the average home price for existing homes increased to $295,541. That's up 9.2% from this same time last year and the rolling 12 month average was up 4.7% over 2014. The median sale price was also up to 259000 That's up nearly 11% over this time last year, while the 12-month average was up 7% over 2014. Days on market is the number of days that a home was marketed before the seller accepted an offer of sale. The average days on market declined by 22%, while the median fell by 37%. That's great news for sellers because it means fewer showings and less time on the market before selling. The percent of original list price represents the final sales price when compared to the original list price. The median was up 0.7% in December, while the average climbed by 0.8%. Simply put, sellers are receiving more of their original asking price. Month supply is the measure of how many months it would take for the current inventory of homes on the market to sell given the current pace of home sales. December's month supply of inventory fell by 19% from the same time last year and the overall for the year fell by a staggering 37.5%. So if you're thinking about selling a home, now might be a great time to enter the market. A licensed real estate agent can help you negotiate the very best deal and make sure that you get top dollar for your home when it's time for you to sell. So regardless if you're ready to sell today or two years from now, I'm delighted to help you in that process. When you're ready to get started, hit the link below or call me today.